Hey guys, there was this one fire call one time. This is a Primrose in 62. That's looking back toward town. This was every bit of seven or eight years ago, I guess, and it was so stinking hot, just like it is today. And a garbage truck was coming here, turning into Primrose. There's all no passing zone out here. And some Yahoo in a sedan passed them and ate the back of the garbage truck and kind of got underneath it a little bit. And there was two people trapped in the car. Garbage truck guy was fine, garbage truck was messed up. But I pulled up, I had three patients right here on this wall and Mark Trailer, who was a battalion chief at the time, goes, Marty, here's your three patients. And I was like, oh, good grief. Man. And they had one that was real bad that they had loaded up. And I I'd, I'd said something about an LZ up here at the top of the hill, the cul-de-sac, and they kind of got lost in the translation. So I ended up taking them by ground to the ambulance service and flying them from there. But, uh, you know, every run you look at, you're like, could I have done something better? Well, maybe not. Or, well, yeah, this was a big deal. I really should have done this better or not. So you always evaluate it unless you're an ego-driven firefighter, and ego-driven firefighters kill people. But I pulled up at three patients here, did a quick primary assessment, and one of them's having a little difficulty breathing. And I told Mark, the next-in medic was like the third, I told Mark I need the next-in unit, which was the third ambulance coming, that this one needs to be checked out. And apparently he was fairly, it was fairly significant. One of those things where, you know, you don't see anything wrong, but upon further review, you got that. So anyway, they transported one to fly and then three by ground, I don't know what happened to them. And then we proceeded to do extrication here. So the flap in the top on the thing, uh, the sweet smell of a car wreck, I don't mean sweet like good, I mean nasty, it's a memorable smell. You've got antifreeze, sometimes gas, oil, sweat, hydraulic fluid from the extrication equipment. Flap the roof, got those two out. And uh, when they were done, everybody's just totally exhausted. And you kind of feel like job well done. I had chest pains afterwards and checked me out and diastolic blood pressure was spiked. Uh, but uh, it was a big deal. All the neighbors were gathered around. Lester Harold from church was gathered up here behind me. He's since gone on to heaven, but uh, I don't know. High, pro high profile run, high visibility run. And all it takes is not passing a garbage truck and a double yellow. And they did not get there any quicker by passing and getting the extrication. So it was a good job by all the responders, multiple people, uh, multiple agencies. And that all happened right here on the quiet Primrose Street.